Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on ESIC Pharmacist Exam Preparation. In this video, I will explain chemotherapy related questions which are given in previous exam papers. Let us see the questions one by one. The first one is, chemotherapy agents are also known as, options given are antineoplastics, ophthalmics, total parenteral nutrition solutions, large volumes of IV solutions. Now see, there is a specific definition for chemotherapy. Chemotherapic drugs are the drugs which have selective toxicity against invading parasites. Invade means to attack. Parasite means uh, which attacks human body. There are two different kinds of invading parasites are there. External, the uh, organisms which come from the nature and attack human body. Internal, which are within human body, they attack our own body. First class is about organisms like bacteria, virus, fungi, protozoans, helminthes. Whereas the second category, internal one is cancer. See, the cancerous cells will attack the adjacent cells. That is what happens in metastasis and everything. So, anti-cancer agents are known as anti-neoplastic. So, anti-neoplastic is also considered as chemotherapeutic agent. So, here the answer is anti-neoplastic. Option number one. Let us move on to the next question. Drug associated with pseudomembranous colitis. Options given are amoxicillin, vancomycin, amoxicillin, vancomycin and none of the above. Now, see, pseudomembranous colitis is caused by an organism called as Clostridium difficile. This particular infection is known as super infection. Let us understand what is this super infection is. When we take my antibiotic for a longer period of time, bacteria which are susceptible for this antibiotic will die. But organisms which are resistant to this antibiotic will grow because there is no competition from the bacteria. So the organisms will grow and, and one of such organisms is Clostridium difficile. When the organism number is more, that cause inflammation at colon and causes a, a, a pseudo membrane on the colon. So that condition is called a pseudo membranous colitis. Most of the antibiotics will cause such kind of problem, especially amoxicillin. Whereas this pseudo membranous colitis can be treated by vancomycin and metronidazole. So out of the options, option number one, amoxicillin is associated with pseudo membranous colitis. See, option 3 include amoxicillin and vancomycin. Vancomycin will not cause, in fact, it is used to treat the condition. So, option number 1, amoxicillin is the correct answer for this question. Let us move on to the next question. Redman syndrome is associated with which of the following drug? Options given are vancomycin, linozolid, azithromycin, rifamycin. Now, let us understand vancomycin is the one which causes Redman syndrome. Uh, just now we have seen vancomycin is a drug of choice to treat pseudomembranous colitis. But now the problem is when vancomycin is given in rapid infusion through intravenous uh, administration, vancomycin causes activation or deglutination of uh, uh, mast cells. Mast cells will get activated and releases histamine. When histamine is released, it causes vasodilation and because of vasodilation, people appear red in color. That is the reason why it causes that uh, syndrome called as Redman syndrome. So the red one syndrome is associated with the drug vancomycin. So option number one is the answer for this question. Let's move on to the next one. Mesna, M-E-S-N-A is used along with cyclophosphamide as two. That means what is the use of Mesna giving along with cyclophosphamide? Option one is synergistic action. Option two to activate cyclophosphamide. Option three to prevent hemorrhagic cystitis. Option four, none of the above. Let us understand this in detail. Now M-E-S-N-A, Mesna stands for Mercapto ethyl sulfonyl sodium. Mercapto means SH. Look at the structure. Mercapto ethyl sulfonate sodium. Now, this is used with cyclophosphate. The reason is when cyclophosphate is given, it is a protrin. It releases a lot of metabolites. Out of them, there is a toxic met metabolite known as acrolein. This acrolein specifically causes urinary tract problems. The problem is called as hemorrhagic cystitis. The urinary cyst will get inflamed and it causes bleeding. That's why it is called as hemorrhagic cystitis. This acrolein is neutralized when mesna is given. So both of them are given together so that the toxic metabolite is neutralized and hemorrhagic cystitis is prevented. So the use of mesna is to prevent hemorrhagic cystitis. Option number three is the answer. For your knowledge, cyclophosphate is an alkylating agent which is used to treat cancer. It it causes alkylation of DNA and that is what results in DNA fragmentation and cancer cell death is caused by this drug. Hope this video is useful. All the best.